your job search, a recruiter can be one of two things, a powerful ally in helping you land your dream job or a roadblock preventing you from consideration. And more often than not, you control their decisions. Many candidates fail to make it to the interview stage because, to be blunt, they annoy the recruiter. Here are the top ways to annoy a recruiter. Number one, there is either no contact information on your resume or it's incorrect. Recruiters on average get at least one resume a month that doesn't have any contact information on it. These are almost always automatically deleted. And even more common are incorrect email addresses or phone numbers. Not a good start. A tip, make sure your contact information on your resume is correct and up to date. A recruiter could be calling or sending you an email with a job offer and instead they're calling the next candidate. Number two, the overly aggressive candidate follow-up. While it's a good idea to follow up with a recruiter, some candidates take this to a whole new art form. Candidates often make multiple calls in a single day. Not surprisingly, short of an emergency, that's excessive and could put you out of consideration. A tip, if you want to follow up with a recruiter or hiring manager, simply ask, if I don't hear back from you within a week, is it all right if I give you a call or send an email? Most of the time, the answer is yes, or they'll offer a time frame such as, try us in two weeks. Number three, the candidate with the attitude. Okay, your job search has been long and unproductive. And here is this recruiter saying, you're not right for this position. The wrong approach is to kill the messenger. Remember, a recruiter is your advocate. Becoming stubborn, uncooperative, or just downright rude may make you feel good momentarily, but can be career suicide. A suggestion, with the right attitude, many recruiters will, as a favor, offer tips on tailoring a resume to more accurately match the job description and then send it over to the hiring manager. So remember, be nice to your recruiter and let your attitude shine. Did you know that many times when a recruiter has a great conversation with a candidate, that is one of the first things they tell the hiring manager? People will always choose a really good candidate with a great attitude over an excellent candidate with a poor one. Be the former and let your attitude shine. I'm Renee Cohn for the Job Channel Network.